evening everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, stage four, have you got your tool? What tool? This tool. So yeah, not particularly long today's video everyone because you've learned all the techniques that you need to know for this stage and we're just using the trigger move throughout it. By the end of this stage, we will have the second row completed on the Rubik's Cube. Remember, we do it in rows, not faces. So if you're still struggling at the end of this one, you need to go back a stage and remember what we're doing. Practice, practice, practice. That is the key. So let's just crack into it, down to the little camera. So have a look at the top of your Rubik's Cube and what have you got on the top? You're looking at your edge pieces here. So we want edge pieces that don't have any yellow on them. So yellow on the top, remember, white on the bottom, that's how we're orientated. You're looking at your top face and you're looking at the edge pieces that don't have any yellow on them. I've got blue here and I've got red here. That's a good piece, we like that one. I've got blue here and I've got orange here, that's a good piece, and I've got green and red. So we don't want anything that's got yellow on either of these faces. If it's got yellow on the top or yellow on its side around the bottom, those pieces are no good for us to use in this stage. So to get these pieces now down into the middle row, what we need to do is first of all, well this one's already done for us. So we'll start with this piece blue on top and it's red on a side. You want to do what's happened here already, which is it's already matched up. You want to match that red piece with the red center. Blue on top, what we're looking at this red center here, match them up there, match them, bring the red face so it's facing towards you. Now we're gonna deal with the fact that it's blue on top and we're gonna look for what side of us has got the blue center. So it's not this side, that's green, it's the other side. So we wanna turn this blue piece 90 degrees away from its blue face. The blue piece are turned 90 degrees, so I'll show you again. So you match up the front, first of all, red with red, and then you bring that red face towards you, you decide which side the blue side is, it's this side on me, this is green here, because that's the green side, it's got the green center, and then I'm gonna turn that blue away from its blue side, 90 degrees, and then you're gonna perform on the blue side, because it's the blue piece we're dealing with, the left trigger, and then what will have happened now is you'll have popped one out of the bottom, so we need to start doing housekeeping at the end of every one of these moves, so housekeeping is back to stage three. White's come out, so we need to match the blue to its blue diagonal friend. There it is, matched up to blue diagonal friend. The white's now on the outside of me, blue facing towards me, and bring that back in to the bottom using your trigger as you normally would. And in doing that, you've brought that blue piece down. Okay, so we'll just keep working our way around. We don't want anything with yellow, so that one's got blue and yellow, so we can't work with that one. This one's got red and green, so we're gonna match that red up to its red center. There it is. Bring the red face so it's facing towards you, and then look on top, which is the green. I've got green on top. And then which side is the green? The green's here on my right-hand side, so I want to turn that green piece away 90 degrees, one on the top, I'll do it again, away. You're turning it away 90 degrees on the top and then you're gonna do the right trigger because we're on the working on the green face, right trigger and that's popped your white out again. So house keep it, there it is. House keep it back into the bottom again, same as stage three. Match them up diagonally. There's the white piece, there's its green corner. Match them up diagonally. That white piece is now gonna be on my side and left trigger to put that back down in and that will have brought that green piece down in. And keep working away on the top. So I've got orange here, blue here, it's already matched up. Bring that blue face so it's facing towards me. On top is orange, this side is red, this side is orange, so I want to move this orange piece away from its orange face, 90 degrees on top, and then do the left trigger on the orange because it's orange we're dealing with. And then that's gonna have bought that white piece out from the bottom. So we need to house keep that white piece back into the bottom again, orange around the side, match that orange up with its orange diagonal here, same as stage three. This is on my left hand side, left trigger, and that brings the orange down. And that is actually me done on mine, as you can see. 
So I've still got my bottom row done. I've still got my second, I've now got my second row done and we've still got a white bottom. However, there is a scenario you need to be aware of where your second row won't be finished and you won't have any pieces on your top or side face that don't have yellow on them. So I'll show you what to do with that. Okay, so in this scenario, we've not got the second row finished, but we haven't got a piece on top that doesn't have yellow in. So we've got blue here, yellow, yellow here, green here, yellow here, and orange here, and yellow here, and red here. But we've still got our second row incompleted, but we've got nothing that we can move down because they've got yellow on them. These edge pieces can't have yellow either on the top or on the face because they won't work into the second row. Now, to sort that out, what you need to do is you need to go around your Rubik's Cube and locate the piece that's out of place. So that piece here is out of place, so there's probably another one as well, and there's another one there that's out of place. So that's not completing that blue. We've got a green there. The orange is not getting completed by the red and the green not getting completed by the orange. So we want to deal with, let's deal with this piece here. So we've got orange here and blue on the side. So that's out of place of this green row. So you need to take the piece that's out of place, which is that piece and face that Rubik's cube towards you. So the piece that's out of place now is now on my left hand side. So I'm going to perform a left trigger, okay. Do that and then again what will have happened is you will have jumped a piece from out of the bottom. So you need to house keep that piece back into the bottom again by doing the same as what we did in stage three. Round the corner to its red friend, match that red up to the diagonal, get your white piece on the side, it's on the right side for me and bring it back down again. What that should have done is somewhere on the top now the piece that you were popping out will have popped out and there it is. So we've got our orange on top and blue on the side. So now just do what we were doing before, which is we've got him already matched up to the blue in there. Blue and blue matched up, orange on top. Bring the blue face towards you. Move that orange piece away from the orange side. So that's the red side. So that's the side we want to bring it towards. Opposite its orange friend. And then do the left trigger. That again brings your piece out of the bottom. There it is. Bring it round, put it back in again. So then you just work it the same way as we did before. So now I've got green on top, red here, red round to the centre. That matches up there. I've got the red face, bring that in towards me. What's on top, it's green. Green's on this side, my right side, so I want to turn the top 90 degrees so that green piece moves away from its green friend. And then I'm going to do the trigger on that side. Bosh, bosh. And then that brings the white piece out of the bottom, so I want the house, keep that back in. Diagonally match there left hand side bring it down okay and that's that one done okay everyone and that is it so practice 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 stage five will involve algorithms so be ready with your pen and your paper if you're struggling with that one just watch it again until it all sinks in again i don't think any of it's instinctive until you've done it a good few times and practiced any questions get in touch with me you know where i am but other than that good luck everyone hit the subscribe hit the like and i'll see you in the next video